Hi, I'm Juliet. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, Hidden Angel Records, Hidden Angel Publishing. If you like what you hear today, please hit that subscribe button. And um, here's a song I wrote. It's called Don't Tell Anyone. is a song that I wrote a few years ago and it's about a, a few different things. It's about um, some sexual abuse that I suffered at the hands of my maternal grandfather. Um, this was when I was really little. I was only like five or six years old and I had gotten up early in the morning to go downstairs and eat brown sugar right out of the box and my grandfather had been staying with us for a while. I think he was getting cancer treatments in Boston. And it was really early in the morning, and I went down there. And um, for years, all I remembered that I felt really scared around him, and it was uncomfortable, and I wanted to leave. And um, I did a lot of work um, with counseling and 12-step uh, work and visioning and hypnosis and um, realized that he had molested me. And um, so it's about that, and it's also about when I was a preteen, uh, there was a farmhand that worked for us and was always very suggestive and flirty and saying things like if I was 10 years younger and just making me feel really uncomfortable and saying all these suggestive things. And um, it's also about um, band leaders in Los Angeles and um, I had one experience with a band leader who um, 
I could tell liked me and, you know, being a codependent, you know, I wanted to please him. I was outer focused and, you know, I knew I needed the job. I was a guitar player, but I think I was just hired because I was a second girl and two girls were like a thing back then. And um, he had hired this other guitar player who was so phenomenal that the rest of the guitar players in the world could just like take a break and not come back. And he was really amazing. So, um, you know, so I said yes when I meant no. And, um, you know, he would say, want me to call his job and tell him he was sick, but act like my wife. And you're supposed to act like my wife when you do that. Now, why didn't he just ask his wife to do it? I don't know. You know, and just other other things, you know, he would have me take my kids, his kids places and things. And then we were going to Sacramento for a gig and he said, well, if you get lonely and you miss your boyfriend, you know, will you come and see me? And I said yes when I meant no and I had absolutely no intention of doing so. We went to Sacramento and um, he got drunk one night and made me kiss him and then realized he wasn't going to get what he wanted and the next week he fired me. So. Sexual um, harassment is alive and well, but I had to, you know, own my part in that last incident because I just should have said no and gotten fired right away and had my integrity and my dignity and all of that. So anyway, that's what this is about. So um, here it is again. enjoyed this video. 
um if you did please hit check it check out on hidden angel records and hidden angel dot net and you can find links to where to purchase my music and my books and see other videos and all sorts of things and see where i'm playing live so thanks a lot for visiting have a good day